Hey guys, it's Paradise and the new weapon type, the Beast Claws, have an insane looking moveset, making them super fun to try out. But what if we told you there's a hidden drop that's called the Red Bear's Claw that comes with passive bleed buildup on it and an awesome skill called Red Bear Hunt, which allows you to do a series of swipes with repeated inputs. Bleed is one of the most popular status types weapons, making this new weapon even more awesome to pick up. So if that sounds interesting to you, here is a quick guide on how to get them. To grab these, you need to head to the Northern Nameless Mausoleum, which is located in the Rao base. This can be a little tricky to get to, but we have a path that worked for us. Going in this route will require that you have access to the Skadu Atlas area, as this will be the starting point of our route. So first travel to the High Road Cross Site of Grace and head to this point that has been marked on the map. Here you will find an entrance that you can head through that will have a Skadu tree fragment in it for you to pick up. Bypass all of the enemies and you will end up in a swampy area. Hug the wall on the left and avoid all of the enemies and there will be a few jump scares along the way. But as long as you keep your speed up you should be fine to just ignore and ride past them. Continue until you're able to get to the other side of the swamp area and jump out of the massive exit into the Rao base. Since this will probably be your first time in this area, make sure to unlock the Site of Grace nearby so you can fast travel back here for any goodies in this area in the future. If you haven't already done so, you can also pick up the map for this area so you can more easily see where you're going when visiting here. Do be careful when moving through this area though as there are colossal golems that are in the area that we're interested in getting to. If you go here, there will be an inactive spirit spring that you'll need to use to get to the top, but first we need to activate it. So head up the hill and attack this pile of rocks. This will activate the spring, allowing you to jump up and enter the northern nameless mausoleum. In here, you will need to fight the man, the myth, the legend, Red Bear himself, so that you can take his claws and armor set for yourself. He's actually a fairly easy fight, so you shouldn't have any problems bringing him down. But now you have the amazing Red Bear Claws. These are Strength C, Dex E scaling, which grows to Strength B, Dex D at plus 10. They have a requirement of 20 Strength and 10 Dex, which isn't too bad, and a passive bleed buildup of 45. You can run this as a single weapon or power stance it to have two of them. The unique skill Red Bear Hunt says it slaughters prey with sharp claws in a great swipe of the arm. The attack creates a vacuum which deals continuous damage and repeated inputs allow for two follow-up attacks. We've actually tried this out and the massive swipes are slow but do deal good damage especially when the bleed procs. To be honest this weapon is looking very impressive to us. It hits very fast and that seems to proc the bleed very quickly and it can be made easier if you slap on sigils that require successive hits like the Rotten Winged Sword. All in all, we highly recommend you grab this one and give it a go, not just because it's fun, but also because it seems like it's pretty strong. Share any cool weapons that you found down in the comments below so we can all learn together and drop a like if we've helped you out. But make sure you're subscribed because we're going to have loads more Elden Ring coming your way very soon.